Hi fellas, just made this jammer for a guy in, well Europe, shall we say. Uh, as you see, it uses the usual alloy enclosure. This is from Hammond, really nice piece of kit. Uh, I think it's the only jammer with that uses an alloy case, which must be to its credit. Uh, I've just left a protective film on here. This is the uh, ambient light shield, of course. Cuts out like 98% of ambient light and quite a bit of infrared. Um, here we have the, the 5 volt buzzer which is the loudest you can get it's got a built-in oscillator inside it uh, it's actually a lot louder than uh, the blinders and the AOPs which I have come across and tested for com customers with uh, lidar guns never use these laser testers these shit little $30 laser testers by the way because some of them or a lot of them give a very damaging signal it's just a DC pure light signal just like that flash <laughs> that's what the circuit receives no pulses like it should do uh, here's, this goes straight onto your 12 volt system I have a fuse box of your battery fuse, fuse box is better if you're going to fuse it use a low like 4 or 5 amp fuse uh, you don't have to really because uh, well you just don't <laughs> basically um, this uses the OSRAM SPL PL93 laser which I've got a couple delivered this morning from Mouses you can scan that or what have you if you want there we go, I'm not really bothered about if you know my location. Um, yeah, so there you go. I put a five metre wire on each side. Um, just coil this up if you don't need it. Uh, if, if you cut it, if you do cut it, you'll have to resolder the joints where the obviously black and red goes onto the the four core wire. So I wouldn't recommend that. It doesn't do any harm leaving it coiled. There's no electromagnetic effects, I've checked. And it's quite a nice kit. You've got normally you've got one wire coming out. Of course, this case you've got two, one to the power feed, one to go to the cabin. And this should be led either around your front door seal, which isn't as neat, or through your firewall or your bulkhead, as we call it here. Um, that can be a bit fiddly. Always get some advice if you're not sure. Don't start drilling holes because there's, <laughs> there's aircon pipes, there's reams of wiring behind that firewall. If you hit them, you know, if you hit the wrong place with your drill, just guessing, uh, you can't. Your car may never drive again. <laughs> so there you go. So this one's going to Europe, on the eastern edge of Europe. Um, so I'll get one off to him shortly. Tracked and well, that's that's the jammer with audio alert with a five volts, ninety decibel buzzer. So we've got some bit of filler on, on me. That's from another job I was doing earlier. So see you guys. Have a good one.